Good afternoon everyone and present to your attention the work of the lintels plugin. This plugin will allow you to arrange metal lintels on windows and doors and will also allow you to automate the creation of a schedule for these items. Let's look at an example. Here we have two doors and windows. Let's look at the case arrangement of metal lintels on these elements in different configurations. But first, as in many plugins, since we will be using certain families, we need to use certain parameters. Parameters are set in the settings. Therefore, in the plugins line, let's go to the settings first. Here we'll go to the lintels tab and here we need to fill in all of these parameters. Each of the parameters is signed. If you want to fill it from your general parameter file, then according to the name, you can do it if, however, you don't want to do that, you can press the Use Recommended Beamstep Parameters. In this case, uh, they will automatically be filled in and added to the project. Click Done. We have all the parameters in the project. From here, you can already place the lintel. Click on the lintels tab. Select our window, for example, and then in the window that comes up, we need to select all the parameters. The first one is the type of lintel. Single angle, two angles with lintels, is the metal plate that connects these two angles. Two angles without cross pieces, a channel or a bar. Selecting, for example, single angle and then we can select whether we are going to do both sides, so save reinforcing angles. In this case, let it be the usual single angle and we are not going to make a left and right additional reinforcing angles. The next step is to select the size of our angle. I'm going to leave it like this. We have the following parameters locked down because we need it for other types of the lintels. Then we need to choose how much in millimeters that we are going to have the angle come in. Left to right of our lintel. Let it be 250 millimeters each. In the last two drop down lists, we need to select the responsible parameters in the window we have selected for the width of the in the elevations. In this case, these are the width parameter and the elevation parameter. And the last thing we need to fill in is the thickness of the wall. 250 millimeters is the thickness directly from the, our wall. But if you want to have the lintel, let's say wider, we can change that value here. Click done. At this point, the lintel is downloaded and added to our project. So the lintel is up, we can see it. Let's cover the wall. And we'll see that the family of the lintel is in this type of a single angle. Let's rank the other structures. Other types of lintels. Let's click on the plugin. Select, for example, a drawer. This is where we select, for example, two angles with lintels. Let's have the same type of an angle, but we'll do on the left side reinforce an angle. Let it have the same profile, but on the left side, we'll do, for example, the latch is not 250, but zero. Click done. So let's take a look at what we've got. So we've got a lintel that's isolated, which physically consists of two angles. Connected by certain plates, but one side we have extra zero and we have reinforcing angle with two anchors. This type of lintel will fit in the where we have, for example, a double. Aperture comes right up to the reinforced concrete wall and it's impossible for us to make a thread. Lintels to the left, so we do reinforcing angles and we are doing two anchors. Let's move on from there. Let's run the lintels plugin again, select a window, select a channel, for example. This is where we uncheck the box here. Let's also put 250 and select the type of channel we need. Click done. The channel family is placed. Nothing complicated here. And the last one option that's deal uh, with the armature. Let's click on lintels. Select the lintels, select the opening, select the reinforcement. Select rebar, diameter, and quantity. All other parameters remain as follows the same. We click done and we've got 
a lintel that includes three bars of free bar, 12 millimeters in diameter. So we've arranged our lintel cables in our project. What else remarkable about these families is these families of lintels we have are separate families. That is, uh, these families are not nested within families of windows or doors. They can be managed separately. But thanks to our plugin, we are forcing lintels to move behind the elements, which the plugin put them onto. So if we move within the framework of the wall, the window, the lintel is gonna be moved. Just like the door, if we move the whole wall, then the lintels will be moving in its way. So now you just need to install the lintel family once and it will move from there behind its parent family. As a result, with this plugin we've placed the lintels. Let's get a schedule for all elements. To do this, we run the plugin lintel schedules. Uh, here we have two possibilities of getting a schedule. Since the lintel is a precast family, we can separately get schedule for the lintels. That is how many specific lintels we have piece by piece and we can also get a schedule on the entire lintel piece. So let's get the schedule first and the lintels themselves. That is parent family. We set the schedule name and click create. The schedule has been created. We see four lines in it, that's what we've got. If we choose these lines from the spec, we'll go to 3D view. If we isolate the elements, we can see that. These are all lintels, it's a print family. This schedule shows the number of pieces and their weight. The mass was calculated by summing the masses of all nested elements. Next, for example, you can fill in the position on these lintels and labeling them on your own. Now let's get a schedule on the lintel's parts. Click on the plugin creating schedules and enter the name here. For the lintel detail schedule and click create. We end up with a schedule where all elements are included. That we have in our lintels on the details. So we have two anchors, six plates, one angle, two angles, they are different length three fittings in one angle of the other, size and different length. Here we have a mass represented for each of the elements. So we have got a schedule for our lintel parts. In the end, using the plugin, you'll be able to place the lintels in our project. With these lintels, they will move behind families of the base as well as by a second plugin, you'll be able to automatically get schedules in your project. That's it for now. Thank you everybody. Subscribe to the channel, give us a like in the description of the video. You can find a download link for the plugins with a two weeks trial version. Bye everybody.